Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. Corbin, Rick, Instagram, Twitter, Juice. It's so juicy. <sighs> Bell. Uh, in your face. Today we're reacting to a, it's called How the Battle Scene from Bastrami Mastanani. Uh, or Baji Ramastani, I guess is actually how it's. Well, we know that, but we, when we first. Pastrami Mastanani. It was Corbinized. Pastrami Mastanani. Pastrami Mastanani. Yeah. You know how I remember actually how it's pronounced? is our friend from um, um, Amritsar. Really? Because uh, he said. <laughs> Because he was telling us different words, and he said "baji," and I said "like oh, like baji, baji ramasani. ramasani." And he said, "No, it's baji, baji ramasani. ramasani." And so I hear his voice in my head uh, every day. But it was Pushkrami Mastanani. Uh, but this is how the battle scenes from uh, Baji Ramasani was shot. Uh, Sudeep Chatterjee, uh huh, inside, inside a scene. scene. Cool. Read this. Sanjay Leela Bansali's Baji Ramastani is remembered for its majestic battle scenes. It is. It's true. In this inside is scene by film companion, cinematographer Sudeep Chatterjee explains on what went into the staging the complex scenes. We've reacted to other inside is scene episodes, yes we have, for movies like Tamasha, Urupunja, Barfi, and more. We have. This was such a film great companion always does a really good job. This was such a great film. Yes, it was. And we've talked about how much we would love to see more behind the scenes stuff from the directors that we have loved the most, yeah. like Vishal Bardwaj. And this looks and, like the cinematographer. Yes, who right? worked with, which that's a great perspective to get as someone who's worked with Sanjay Lila Bansali, especially since the cinematography is always one of the first things you recognize in his films. Yeah, here we go. Hi, I'm Shudeep Chatterjee, I'm a cinematographer. With Bajira, what happened is uh, Sanjay was very keen on shoot, shooting this very exquisite war. His his brief was that you know it just apart from looking grand and you know dramatic and all that, it has to look beautiful. Yeah. So oh. my decision was that yeah, it should not be in daylight; it would be shot in twilight. So I was very concerned about how to. There's so much stuff. Twilight, you get that little time, right? Um, and uh, how do you shoot so much stuff with so so many junior artists, so many animals? Um, and maintain that look. So we decided to uh, Green screen it all. shoot it what we say in layers. I'll tell you the process. What happened is, uh, so when Sanjay briefed Sham Kaushal about the how he wanted the war, based on that, Shamji made a storyboard. And that storyboard was given to me. <laughs> I worked with the storyboard artists and the visualizers to give it a more visual shape in the sense that, okay, this is a shot. Uh, how do you make that more cinematic? Once that was done, we presented it to Sanjay again and he did his additions and subtractions. And we arrived at what we had a final storyboard. Now this storyboard was then shown to in a joint meeting with the action team, with the art team, with the VFX team, and uh, we asked that how much you could do. If I take an example, but you know, actually jumps and gets some um, on, on people's uh, armors and, and climbs and, um, on the elephant. So that part. So we would uh, show this to everybody that this is the shot that we have in mind. How do we do it? Uh, so we would ask Shami that can we actually do it? Is this possible to? Uh, do this bit of action. Uh, so he would say, yeah, okay, Ranvi, we can. We can probably uh, put a crane and, and you know, have him on cables and, and, and do this. But the elephant was not possible to go there because he would react to the crane. Uh, there's explosions going on in the background. He would react to that. So elephant is definitely uh, uh, another layer. And uh, Ranvi on crane is another layer. The background action uh, is another layer. So we and in the foreground, there's something happening in the foreground, there's fire to be added, that's a foreground separately. So we made a note of all so these layers work into and it. we kind of um, had the board broken down in, in, in separate uh, 
seven sheets mm-hmm. but when each plate represented right. uh, what we needed to shoot separately so we had uh, four five uh, combinations and then we knew that okay this is what uh, we are shooting we, in rajasthan in the location this is what we are shooting this is what we need to shoot in the in the studio this is what so that's how everything was uh, the entire sequence was broken down like that we actually didn't take uh, the actors to the location uh, ranbir did actually but then he had an accident so he had to come back and, and deepika we never took the, uh, so they were shot in the studio and uh, it was because right. it was meticulously right. planned that right. this is exactly the shot right. this is the background right. and that way i could control the uh, the lighting we shot that day for night so uh, but we had to be very specific we had to shoot it at very specific time of the day and uh, it reduced our location work to about i think 8 or 9 days location for our film we did right but it gave more time to your post production i find it quite fascinating actually that uh, uh, when i'm lighting up a, a, a vfx set uh, it's very similar to um, on set photography on a set when i'm wanting a certain light i tell a light when they look into that or tell my assistant you know you know dot that a little bit or enhance that a little bit that looks uh, can you gel that a little bit same thing you're doing instead of telling light when you're telling vfx artists i don't have the purity and uh, frame of mind that you know everything has to be done on set if the technology is available and it's helping me tell the story better then i i jump at it Guys, have fun. It was nice talking to you. If you like it, please subscribe <laughs> to Film Companion. Yeah, and show you how difficult a job cinematographers have, and how important somebody who knows what they're doing is, especially on something as massive. As... Yeah, and and the visual effects and editing. And I'd love to know in the way that they look at those things. Like, for example, at the Academy, when they're giving out the awards, when you're looking at something that's that complex, how much of that do you credit the cinematographer to? how much do you credit the editor and how much do you credit the visual effects people yeah and i think when you're dealing with the layering aspect of it you eh, i don't know how you can differentiate how much of that was actually cinematography versus visual effects unless you've actually sat down and talked to the creative team well that's why in the oscars you have such a people that have no idea the difference between sound editing and sound no. mixing and and that's why if you didn't know this the only category that everybody in the academy votes for is best picture. Every other discipline, it's only the people who are of that discipline. So the cinematographers award the cinematographers and the actors award the actors and the the the, the sound people award the sound people because they know better than anybody what went into doing that particular thing and it's one of the reasons I love the Oscars of they're the granddaddy of all of them because as far as the artistry is concerned you're getting the best of the best of the best judging the work of that particular discipline mm-hmm. yeah and i they'd be able to answer i'm sure a cinematographer a v- vfx person and an editor <laughs> could watch this and let you know I, i i bet that was far more vfx than it was cinematography or vice versa also not shocking that the first word that came out of his mouth when working with sanjay was beautiful, beautiful. yeah it's I just got to be beautiful he's cuz there's certain direct and not saying he doesn't care about story but certain directors care about certain things more than others yeah anurag does not care about the beauty of a shot as much as he does the story sure. and the writing that's i think and that's, that's he his. likes the anarchy yeah he like he he likes to just throw a camera on the streets of mumbai and let people run and nobody even knows they're filming let's yeah. see what happens as i think opposed, i would drive sanjay leela bansali and sand as opposed to sanjay or even like here in the west um guillermo del toro has very specific vision yeah. for his for his lighting and his and the way his films are shot. Yeah. He has a very distinct style to him and he's he's a brilliant brilliant director. Yeah, and then you have a Spielberg who is notorious mm-hmm. for everything being definitively accurate for whatever time period mm-hmm. he's in. And then you have other people who are looking at the symmetry and the mathematical balance of each frame of shot. So it's just so cool. I was for, for the gritty that's those are always my favorite in terms of cuz there's certain directors that Spielberg sometimes falls into that it's his stuff not not like Sanjay stuff um it looks too 
clean. Almost. Too too pretty. Yeah, not not like Sanjay's pretty. Sanjay's no, is his more is hyper realism. Hyper realism, uh, which is a different style in and of itself. Yeah, S not all the time. Obviously, Spielberg's done some of the best films. Spielberg ever does made. everything <laughs> ever made, but sometimes he, he some of his stuff looks a little too clean for my liking. Yeah, um, I understand that. And so, but you know, that's. He's Spielberg, so I can't argue with what he does. And I, I understand what you're saying too. Yeah. Know, it's not everyone. Right Obviously, he's some of my favorite from Jurassic. <laughs> but yeah, I, you know what I would love to see? I would love to see not just the explanation verbally, but I would love to watch like a 30 minute video that takes a particular scene like that and then shows you everything that went into the, the design of it, storyboarding it, then what was done on location, then what was done on set then how they layered those things, and then what was done post-production as they did all of the correcting and he's telling them what he want, I would, and then the final shot. Yeah, I'd love to see a 30 minute video on just a, a, a 60 second sequence. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I miss Sanjay. I, I do too, we need watch, to see another. I need to watch some of his stuff. And obviously I think we would have already gotten one of his stuff if I know COVID wasn't here. So we're waiting. We'll get something this year on it. Maybe we'll get him on the channel to promote it. Yeah. And Alia. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> <laughs>